What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I still need to get ready and rethink the guest list. Of course, Commander. Please let me know when you're ready to begin preparations for your guests. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Let's keep things relaxed. Certainly, Commander. I'll ensure music remains at an appropriate volume and arrange for some refreshments. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Nice ink. But you got a long way to go to catch up. Nah, I just got this when I lost my squad a few years ago. Hey, what's the story behind that? And how far down does it go? Tactful, as always. What? I'm just wondering. I like tattoos. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? I think so, too. Great so far. This is really nice. It's very soothing. It's great. Quiet. After the excitement of the mission, it's a good quiet, right? Seriously? We could ramp it up a little, Shepard. Relax. The night is young. I like it like this. You got it, boss. I'm just happy to be kicking back. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. I'm sure they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey. Not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. You people watching tonight, Edie? Participant observation. That sounds less friendly. It's actually quite the opposite. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will.
Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas Macs. Always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, keeping the hard liquor under lock and key? Otherwise, I'd have to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR-3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR-3. It's Boss Normandy. Even I get confused by Quarian names sometimes. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have. Indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Hey. Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. It's mostly a lot of running and shooting, and usually somewhere in there, a button needs pushing, but Shepard always hogs that part. Yes, a history of close calls, narrow escapes, and more near-death encounters than I care to remember. By that measure, Shepard would have made a good Justicar. I remember first meeting Shepard. All I kept thinking was, I hope he took a shower, because my filter needs replacing, and humans carry a lot of germs. And three years later, you're eating his food. I'd call that progress. Wow, this is quite the apartment. Seriously, you see that waterfall? And that hot tub looks like something I might want to check out later. Without you. And this was Admiral Anderson's place? I could never live in a place like this. I'd worry about breaking the furniture. So we thought about it, but a human and synthetic in love, it's just kind of weird. I admit I was very curious to see what happened, but perhaps you're right. Yeah, and if we ever broke up, well, nobody wants an angry ex equipped with a Thanix cannon. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest? You? Or the tank braid. Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. <laughs> you gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Uh, Baby Pijack here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. <laughs> we should leave these two lovebirds alone. Let's not. I'd rather not buy new furniture. Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. 
I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Yeah, thanks for coming. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? In my cycle, too many people in one room risk a high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called the Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Where'd you propose? I haven't yet. Seriously? I want to do it right. Not on some backwater rock planet with some ring pumped out of a fabricator. My plan is, Shepard gets me and Brynn into the council chamber. We do a picnic under the cherry blossoms. Then comes the question. A hundred vulture. Sure. Better if I could shoot some kind of death ray out of my bad eye here. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, I admit, when I first heard about it, I thought Archangel was some sort of mascot for a perfume company. I'm glad I got your hopes up, Tally. When I first heard about it, I thought the Shadow Broker was a Shadow Boxer. I pictured some sort of Elcor punching bag. And that's exactly what the galaxy should keep thinking. Not that I have a personal interest in it or anything. So Joker set you free, right? Do you ever get hassled for being a real deal AI? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. <laughs> I asked directions from that bot on the way here. So, do you have infiltration software that lets you fake being drunk? Yes, though it is rudimentary. The planned strategy was to avoid social situations where naturalism would come under scrutiny. Uh, I, I want to see it. You are seeing it now. Man, some Cerberus programmer phoned that one in. Your guests appear to be enjoying this relaxed atmosphere. Would you like me to keep everything at its current intensity? This is nice. Let's keep things laid back. Yes, Commander. Drink! I'm drinking! But it's not a drinking game. Afraid to lose? Nothing to do with fear. I know I'll lose. Logic is for Solarians. The great third knot Rex is back down from the challenge. I never accepted the damn... Fine! Drink! Ha! Fair warning, Grunt. My first liver dried up years ago on account of this stuff. I'm sure both of yours are still pink and squeaky, like baby pie jacks. We're stalling, old man. Trick. How about that one? On the arm there? Got that taking some knives off a gang of drunk Batarians. They figured they could stop me from collecting the bounty on their boss. Idiots. So. This one's from two Krogan that had a problem with me running Arlac Company. They learned to live with it. Turns out only one of them had to. Ha <laughs> ha You're all right, Grunt. Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard! Shepard! Shepard? Shepard? Grunt? Shepard! Rex? Commander Shepard. Shepard, Shepard, Shepard. Rex? Grunt? Shepard! Shepard! Shepard? Shepard! <laughs> of course, the SR2 is much bigger, so they upgraded the ventilation system. More of a... <laughs> That's actually what it sounds like. There is a lot more space now. 
But if you move further up, it's more of a... Tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> a what? You have to imagine my arms are the wings. <laughs> of course. Over by the med bay. Exactly! What are you guys talking about? Tally was acting out the differences between the original Normandy and the SR2. Acting? I may have recorded it. And that recording may already have six million extra net hits and a fan site. You better hope I never find you. Yeah, but which one's better? The SR2 is harder to perform. Does that make it better or worse? The SR1 was a decent ship, but the SR2 gave the Normandy a fresh start. It made it something truly great. Just look at what it accomplished. The SR2 made a good ship better. The original Normandy was developed by the Turian Council and the Alliance. It's a symbol of cooperation between members of the galactic community. And we wouldn't be where we are now without it. The SR2 has been through a lot. And it'll see us through a lot more. I wouldn't change my name for just any ship. I thought the Admiralty Board changed your name. Yes, but in hindsight, I might have considered it. You know what I'm talking about. Protheans can read the smallest details of our environment. Tattooed human, I would like to touch you. <laughs> I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. You then, shuttle pilot. How about you? Um, why is Javik getting all touchy-feely? Hey, collector-looking asshole. Maybe go touch yourself. That does not happen until the end of the party. <laughs> Commander! Javik? Apologies. I have been drinking the provided drinks. Sure. Uh, you might want to tap the brakes a little. Everyone having a good time? Will there be food available soon? You're hungry, Edie? No. However, my research suggests that serving intoxicants without nourishment is considered unwise. I can eat. In my sight, we had food. Many of them. Varieties. You feeling okay? I am Prothean. I never feel okay. Though this drink is changing that. Hmm. Know what I could go for? Fish and chips. Greasy, salty, crispy, flaky, melt in your mouth. Yes, that. Let's get that. Shall I arrange some fish and chips, Shepard? Steve, is that your favorite? Actually, I'm a dessert guy. My aunt used to make this chocolate lava bomb cake. When I first escaped from Cerberus, I found these chocolate chip cookies at a store. <sighs> Ripped through the whole damn thing. Nothing in this cycle compares to the food of my people. Maybe you should get cooking then, Javik. Most of our ingredients are extinct. Except Krogan. Sorry. Dirty. Barry and Corey. Is there any we could spare? Hope you don't feel left out, Edie. Do not worry. I've been employing a socialization protocol feature that came with this unit. It is called Smile and Nod. Okay, I'll see about arranging more food then. You know, forget food. This bar is impressive. Let's crack open this bad boy and see what we can come up with. Beverages. More would be preferable to nuts. I'll check for more snacks when I get a chance. Thanks. When you get around to it. No rush. Nice party. And relax a bit yourself, okay? We'll see. <laughs> so, talking about food at a party, like, for fun. Bored? Is there a place I can go light something on fire? The fireplace is right there. Eh. It's not the same.
Uh, this place is a goddamn joke. Sight lines aren't bad. One point in its favor, and I'm supposed to be impressed. And what the hell is this supposed to be? I... I think... It's... Art. Oh. Mm. Art, eh? Okay, I see now. Sure. Art. I like it. What are you guys doing over here? Looking at this poor excuse of an apartment, that's what. What's wrong with it? What would you do if another one of your clones broke in here, eh? Offer them a cup of tea? Ah, there are too many windows, and they're, they're too big. Makes it easy for someone to track your movement. But it's got potential. Be easy to set up a defensible position over there. I'd extend a wall out, prevent someone sticking you in the back. Mm, 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 good idea. Mm. Wish I could have done that back in the day on Omega. Why don't you two relax and enjoy the party? The apartment's fine. Fine? <laughs> Suppose tomorrow it's Liara's clone that comes after you. Mm. Poor Joker. Yeah, him. Twitchy little guy. Might already be a clone. An evil one at that. All right. Have fun. Shepard, you moved the Normandy's main battery into here, and I think I'm home. So, Edie said you found her voice attractive. Well, actually, she said the word you used was like, uh, or something. Uh, that was when I thought she was a VI. Anyway, you'd just better treat her right, Moreau. Oh, somebody jealous? I think you had a better shot when she looked like a holographic chess piece trainer. I wouldn't have said chess piece precisely. But listen, the point is, you hate AIs. You had to overcome all your hang-ups, whereas I was totally fine with AIs to begin with. Other fish in the sea, trainer. Not with that voice. It's like feeling smoky satin slide across your skin in soft candlelight. Just... Mm. Wait, are you two arguing over Edie? No! Probably not. Okay, you know she smashed my head against the side of a shuttle? I know! Twice! I heard it from Liara! That was like forever ago. Plus it wasn't Edie back then. It's really unfair of you to even bring it up. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? Probably just brain damage, making me touchy. Apology accepted. You know, it's not healthy to just bottle these things up. The hell is up? It's still creepy, Kasumi. Well, I'm glad you two are drunk enough to finally deal with this. Oh, we weren't planning to deal with it. We're just happy giving each other shit. We can call Edie over, and you can discuss your feelings like mature adults. What? No. That would be weird. Just... just... no. You don't think she knows? You guys, she's the Normandy AI. He sees every extranet site you browse. Note to self, delete browser history. I can show you how to set up an automated task for that. I heard the footfall, and I knew that it was you, Shepard. Not enjoying the party, Samara? Oh yes, Shepard, I am. Although not in the same way as the others, perhaps. Are you worried about me? Don't be. I only stepped away for a moment to use the restroom. And then I found this quiet corner. Reflecting on one's place in the universe while a party rages within reach can feel oddly self-affirming. Meditating isn't often considered party behavior. Perhaps. I don't attend many parties, to be honest. Then I'm flattered. Your influence in my life causes me to be drawn to you, no doubt. Know that as long as I am able, I will come to you whenever you call. Always. Thank you. Now get back out there and have some fun. I will. I promise. Not drinking? Is this because of your bone thing? Yeah, I'm afraid I might get tanked and then pull a gun on Shepard to protect Udina. Wait, hang on, you did that sober.
It is so pleasant here. Sitting by oneself and listening to the enjoyment of others can be quite calming. Occupied. You should really upgrade the security. Hey, no touching, asshole. I mean no harm, tattooed human. I have read you. You don't need to read me. Just ask and I'll tell you exactly what I think. Yes, this is what I have read. Do you miss the Normandy? I'm not sentimental, but sometimes I do. A lot has changed. Some things have changed, but there are still familiar faces. Me, Shepard, Joker, Edie. Come on, Edie even having a face. That's a pretty big change. Okay, that part's different. What about over there? It would work if there wasn't a point of entry right there. <clears throat> so, we barricade it off. Maybe install a tripwire. You're a genius, Vakarian, I swear it. You guys are great. When I'm on a mission, there's nobody I'd rather have back on the ship. And there's nobody we'd rather have down on the front lines getting shot at than you, Ash. Dodging grenades, getting your face all smashed up by robots. You guys are dicks. Is everyone all right? Can I get anyone anything? Steve, I will prepare everything. Do not worry. Steve, get me a double. Make yours a double, too. <laughs> Let's kick this shit up. Say that again? I knew nothing could beat the SR2. At least for now. For now? Well, yeah. Let's say one day I get my own ship. That ship will kick some serious ass. I suppose it will. So we're never talking about this again, right? Absolutely not. Right. Wait, absolutely not you're agreeing with me, or absolutely not we are talking about this again? Shut up, Moreau. The party appears to be a success, Commander. Do you require anything further? Sure. Edie mentioned she may want to cook something. Why don't you join? Of course. I am sure we will be capable of approximating an organic palate between the two of us. I gotta know. What are you doing? Hmm, oh, nothing. Just, uh, admiring the polish on this glass. Good. Don't tell him. He won't understand. Try me. Oh, it's just... Well, mm. one man's decorative glass wall fixture is another man's explosive glass wall fixture. Oh, Now you're in for it. Explosive? Microfilaments, Shepard. Tiny strips of explosives laid across the glass in a grid. It's your first line of defense. When an intruder enters, hit the switch and boom! They're shredded to pieces. Weaponized war fixture, Shepard. Wave of the future in home defense. Uh-huh. Trust me, if I had this back on Omega in my Archangel days, there'd be even more dead mercs. If you say so. Just try not to scratch the finish. I've got a blue wire here, a red one, a yellow one, and one that looks like vomit. Describe the vomit. Purplish, like after too many shots of wrinkle. Yeah, that's the one you want. Cross it with the blue one, and you're good. Heh <laughs> won't be saying the same for the fool who stumbles into this. What are you up to now, Zaid? Next time, another clone of yours tries stealing your life. We'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spare no expense. So, in walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to himself, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. To what? I'm a fucking Geddon. 
30 seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? You ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. But what if I want to use the hot tub? Cover that. It's key to your DNA. Yeah. But a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damn clone. So, Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> I'll give that. You're a great pilot. The best, but go on. All I'm saying is that when it comes to shuttles, I got you beat. I think you said so yourself. Ooh, shuttles. Only slightly less cool than dropping from the Normandy in a Mako. And I bet you couldn't handle the Normandy. <laughs> Didn't you get the first one blown up? So, the first Normandy kind of evaporated. It was unfortunate, but Shepard did get a better ship out of the deal. I wouldn't fight myself for another ship. Or ever again. No more clones. Come on, fighting a clone can't be worse than the Collector base. That was some messed up shit. That place still gives me nightmares. Yeah, not something I wish to repeat. I'm glad I wasn't around for that one. We must never fear the fight against evil. And I had faith that Shepard would see us through. That ability to triumph despite impossible odds is exactly why Shepard was brought back. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time I saved the Normandy single-handed? Yeah, right. It's true. For sure. I was there. I'll vouch for him. Collectors boarded the Normandy. I only had a minute to come up with something to take him down. So you unshackled an AI. Always a good plan. I don't hear anyone complaining about Edie now. Yes, we're all glad she didn't turn out to be an evil robot. <laughs> Weren't you complaining earlier about how she smashed her face in? We're losing focus. Edie wasn't a robot back then. And when the Collectors took over, she was still shackled. So it was me, saving the Normandy by myself. Single hand. Yes, you did. Good man. <laughs> this is completely what I needed. Just hanging out. No crazy stuff. Just thinking about the people who can't be here. Everything's been great, Shepard. Everything's been great, Shepard. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. I'd heard the stories about the Normandy's crew before, but when you put it all together, defeating rogue specters, facing the collectors, and now the war, it's pretty crazy stuff. Check it out. Yeah, all things considered, you'd think the Normandy crew would have a much higher turnover rate. Is it done yet? The recipe calls for more curry. Are you sure? That seems like a lot. The recipe is very specific. I have measured the proper volume to the nearest milligram. Is it done now? I'm not disagreeing, Edie. I'm just saying that that's a lot of curry. If we do not follow the recipe, we risk creating something that tastes offensive. But recipes adapt over time as tastes change or as foods are carried to new cultures. Also, I'm allergic to curry. Are you gonna be done soon or do I need to go eat a keeper? Everybody okay? The entertainment efficiency of the party was falling due to inadequate food supplies. Ouch. Do not be concerned. I am compensating. I just wanted her to heat something up. Now she's cooking. With a vengeance. Edie, I appreciate the help, but parties aren't about efficiency. A party is a collective event among like-minded individuals. It requires teamwork and an understanding of group dynamics. You did not pass through the Omega-4 relay to assault the Collector base without preparation. Why should this be any different? Because it's a party. Nobody's gonna die if we do it wrong. I'm really hungry, Shepard. But if you were to ask a team member to select the music and you chose Jeff, the result would be disastrous. I would never choose Jeff for the music. No, I should do music. 
I can help facilitate a positive environment. I'll hold the line at the snack table. Agreed. You see, Shepard? A party is a social construct that can be designed for maximum efficiency. Well, good luck with that. Bring him back alive. You keep it pretty quiet, Shepard. Nobody's punched me yet. Not that I'd recommend it. Good to see the old gang again. Liara's looking good. I mean, <laughs> you know. I haven't fallen down yet. Time to step this up! Would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance systems include state-of-the-art cameras. Please gather everyone by the living room couch if you are ready. Commander? You are bluffing. Don't be so sure. I got a pretty good poker face. I can tell when someone is hiding something from me. Right. Anyway, now we put our cards on the table. It is foolish to reveal secrets to the enemy. It's part of the game, and we are not enemies. Hey, you want me to deal you in on the next one? I bet you'd be good at this. No. See, that right there. Perfect poker face. What are you talking about? You're still doing it. Commander, can you believe Doc's never played poker? How are the lessons going? The Asari still refuses to take risks. Victory does not come without cost. You're not even playing. Doc's not much of a gambler. Be glad we are not participating in one of the games from my cycle. You would all lose horribly. Aw, oh, be nice to Liara. You're going to have your hands full with me anyway. Adios. How long have you been there? Well, my willingness to gamble aside, this has been a wonderful evening, Shepard. Glad you guys are having fun. It's nice to see people relax and let their guards down. I'll try not to take advantage. Time spent being idle. Do you fear the crew will grow soft, Commander? I think everyone could use the break. This from the Asari who buries herself in studying Protheans day and night. Good to know bickering like an old married couple has not changed since your cycle. Enjoy your game, guys. And I'd keep an eye on Liara if I were you. Give me a few more rounds and you might not have anything left to wager. Now this game is getting more interesting. So, what games did you play in your cycle? Good question. You don't exactly strike me as Mr. Playful. There was one game. It has no name in your language. Three teams met in the arena. Their strength, agility, loyalty, all were tested. The winners were honored, while those that lost... You didn't, uh, sacrifice the losers, did you? Your cycle allows them to live? Um, well... <laughs> I will never die of tricking the primitives. That is a game I enjoy playing. Now we just have to wait for another one of them clones to stumble in. Of course, when this glass goes, the plants probably won't survive. Plants are overrated. You can always get oxygen from a tank. Things were tense back on Vermeer. You got tense on Vermeer. Good thing Shepard talked me down. Can't see you pulling that off. I would have done what I had to do. Uh-huh. Would you have killed me? If you left me no choice? Yes. I respect that. I thought our crew had issues. I had some. That must be an incredible So do you think a clone's DNA is completely identical or just mostly identical? Let it go, Zaid. Yeah, yeah, just killing time. Trying to remember if the blue wire goes with the red or the yellow one. I'm surprised you came tonight. Why is that? I thought Justicars had to be out fighting evil 24-7. That's true. And so how do you know that I am not, Jeff? Fighting evil right now? Because we're all friends in it. Wait, she's messing with me, right? 
It sure is good to see everyone again. Tally, are you okay? Yep. You want to see my tattoo? I don't think you have a tattoo, Tally. It's a hologram. Omni tattoo. Omni tat. Omni two. <laughs> Under the suit. You know, for me. You want to know what it is? You want to know? It's a pretty bird made of rainbows. It is flying out of the eye hole of a skull, being held in the mouth of a thresher maw with a naked woman holding a sword on its back. Because I'm hardcore, like Ezo. Jack suggested it. Remind me to talk to Jack in the morning. Where'd you get the Omni tattoo anyway? Down in the lower wards, near the bottom. I meant where on your body. So did I. <laughs> yeah, I heard that one from Liara. Get some rest, Tally. You sure you're okay, Tally? Fine. Suit doesn't let me get overly intoxic. Intox? Drunk. Just have it all flushed out in a minute. <laughs> Omni two. It just smells like sweat. Why would you even ask that? Don't do that in my helmet. It just gunks up the filters. No, that gets broken down with mass effect fields. Those are just my hips. Go for the optics, Chantika. Oh, Mr. Vakarian. I could use some help with my suit seals. You're cleaning me out, Doc. Aren't you the one who wanted me to bet more? You're quite determined when you want something, aren't you? You know, Liara, if you're ever looking for a new line of work, I bet we could have all sorts of fun. What about me? I usually work with people who are a bit more... Uh, subtle. Hey, I can be subtle. Are you whistling? Why I figure it, the coffee maker is really just a miniature bomb, and the one that Shepard's got downstairs has a timer, so... Oh, we cross a couple wires. And any clone that's looking for a pick-me-up will be picking pieces of themselves up off the floor. Caffeine. What are you up to now, Zaid? Next time another clone of yours tries stealing your life, we'll have a nice little surprise rigged for them. Isn't that right, Garrus? Spare no expense. So, in walks your clone, takes a look around, sees this great hot tub, and says to themselves, Hey, I fancy a dip. Big mistake. Huge. The minute they put so much as a toe in the water, a timer starts counting down. To what? Oh, my fucking get him. 30 seconds later, this baby heats right up. And then what? You ever swim a few laps on the surface of the sun? No. Well, your clone will be. <laughs> That'll teach him. But what if I want to use the hot tub? Cover that. It's key to your DNA. Yeah. But a clone would have the same DNA as me. God damn clone. So, Garris, scratch the hot tub. I've got a few ideas about that coffee maker downstairs, though. <laughs> so, what do we do now, Zaid? I'm telling you, the kitchen's a gold mine of possibilities. Another clone drops by my fancy a pint to eat. Break the refrigerator. Why stop there? Who says a kitchen faucet's just for water? Cyanide's a liquid, too, you know. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way. Make way. Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course.
If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! I wonder if you would let me stay here, Commander. It reminds me of my stasis pod. Every morning I could wake and, just for a moment, imagine it was still my cycle and that Liara did not exist. Good morning. Sleep well. Morning, Shepard. So, on the off chance you accidentally trigger an alarm you didn't know you had and you hear a timer start counting down, then remember the code 6492, punch it into the keypad, preferably before the timer goes off. If you don't, well, blame Zaid and run like hell. Glyph, did you save a copy of that picture for me? Of course, Dr. Tassoni. Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Shepard. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Shepard. Good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. Ugh. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Shepard? Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Hey. When's the food gonna be ready? Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker. Where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Nah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda? Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. Morning. I'm drinking all the coffee today. All of it. I don't remember much after I ate the lamp. I see everyone survived the festivities, more or less. Shepard? Eggs? This is nice. Man, I'm gonna miss everyone. Mmm, good tea. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Mm, good morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. 
Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Shepard? Shepard? Thanks, Shepard. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. Morning, Shepard. Looks like no humans were harmed in the making of this party. <laughs> I'm looking forward to checking my email. Gotta be a thousand in there, waiting to ambush me. Uh, uh. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites, no hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or, alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. Hey. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey, 